Hi everyone. So here are my three telecom predictions for 2025. But before we dive into those three telecom predictions, let's just do a level set around 2024. It's been a tough year for our industry for telecom. So I'm hoping that with innovation in AI in 2025, things will start looking up. So predictions number one is around multi-mode AI that will be deployed in telecoms to elevate customer experience. It will redefine customer engagement, it will offer hyper-personalized service, and as a result, will help to cut operational cost. So the days, remember those days when it was one-dimensional customer support, clunky chatbots, gone. So I predict in 2025, multi-mode AI systems capable of processing text, voice, images, and videos simultaneously will be deployed and will help with customer support. Imagine a customer, for example, struggling with um, an installation. Let's say it's a router installation. And by simply opening their phone, um, an AI assistant could overlay step-by-step -step instructions and eliminate frustration and cut resolution time. That's what multi-mode AI can do running over any 4G, 5G network. Similarly, conversational AI chatbots, again, they will be, become multi-mode. They will handle real-time billing inquiries or troubleshoot um, different network issues for customers, and they will use natural context-aware language and interactions. This system will deliver, uh, again, I predict, they will deliver seamless experiences and they will reduce, help reduce support costs. And those reductions could be between 20 and 40% by using multi-mode AI. And obviously for our industry, for mobile operators that are still looking to realize their 5G investments, those savings will be very important. And the dual benefit of enhanced customer satisfaction and the cost savings will make multi-mode AI, so the your generative AI or your agentic AI, a very important investment. But let me mention one thing around this prediction. It will all depend on the execution. Poorly designed AI systems will, you guessed it, will deliver poorly executed experiences and it will lead to customer churn. The market is already as it is competitive. So mobile operators must prioritize system that will satisfy user inquiries, and deliver optimal experience. And that's prediction number one around multi-mode AI. Prediction number two is around predictive and agentic AI, which will help with automation. We've been talking about network automation and telco for years and years and years. So with predictive and agentic AI. Agentic AI is um, AI that automates and executes and helps or sometimes makes decisions within reason. So it will help with improving customer service and network optimization. So I believe that in 2025, telecom operators will lean on predictive and agentic AI to power smarter and self-operating systems. Predictive AI will monitor network health 
forecast outages and dynamically allocate resources, which will ensure smooth operation. Meanwhile, agentic AI will take automation to the next level. It will enable systems to act autonomously without human intervention. But it's again, it's obviously will depend on governance, data, training, and um, processes will need to be put in place around guardrails as well. So consider this. Agentic AI will detect network congestion in real time and autonomously will reroute traffic to prevent drop calls like magic um, or another example predictive ai will analyze customer usage pattern to recommend tailored plans or proactively resolve payment issues so those two techniques will move telecoms from reactive problem solving to proactive service delivery. And implementing these types of AI, predictive and agentic, will come with clear financial benefits. Operational costs will drop and significant improvements will be achieved in customer satisfaction and reliability. The AI driven efficiencies will also play a critical role in scaling 5G and edge compute networks. And those type of networks will help um, build networks more agile and cost effective. But there's always a but. However, trust remains the foundation of adoption. So with this prediction, transparent AI decision making robust privacy measures and ethical safeguards will be non-negotiable. So operators that earn consumer trust while deploying these techniques for their consumers and within their organization will not only survive, but will thrive. And prediction number three is around Generative AI in OpenRAM with RIC that been around for a few years now. But the prediction is not around technical, it's around collaboration. OpenRAM, um, as we know, no longer buzzword. I started the whole market category in 2015, yes, yes, 10 years ago. So in 2025, I predict that generative AI integrated with predictive AI within RIC and overall open RAN ecosystem will enable smarter, faster innovation. And with those three capabilities, operators will optimize networks in real time, share spectrum dynamically, reduce their power consumption, and as a result, reduce overall cost. And the prediction is around collaboration. Larger vendors will open up their RIC and SMO platforms to startups that are developing XAPs and RAPs. And those apps will solve specific challenges like traffic management or energy efficiency or traffic steering. And those large players will enable that innovation and collaboration. With accelerated innovation, of course, our industry will thrive. But there is another but. For this collaboration to thrive, fairness and openness are critical. Smaller innovators, they need a level playing field, not only to survive, but to thrive. 
industry alliances and regulators must, and I think they will, that's one, uh, that's a part of this prediction, they will step in to ensure that this collaboration is fair and <laughs> square. And when this is done right, Open Run will thrive. And here are my three predictions for telecom for 2025. Thank you for watching.